Fred then, who's your editor headquarters from Japan. Nice to meet you. About today's about India. Yeah. Yeah, so if you look at uh, Fuji Electric has been in India directly indirectly for last 30 years but with the acquisition of Consul Neovat uh, today Fuji Electric has a very strong base of manpower and reach across the country. So we are looking to now use this strength and grow our business in India more than two times in the next four years, uh, leveraging the manpower and uh, service reach, sales reach of Consul Neovat and leveraging the Fuji Electric products which are global world leading products in variable frequency drives, in automation systems and so that is part of our growth plan and another aspect of our growth plan is to also use India as a base for uh, business in ASEAN countries in Middle East and Africa. Fuji Electric 2.0 is in India but the console new water is recent in August. This is the same as Fuji Electric almost higher employees in India. Now, in India, we have R&D, manufacturing, and we have over 10,000 customers in India. We have done sales and sales. So, now, in the strength of this, we have a lot of Fuji Electric products. One major product is variable frequency drive. This is our motors. If you look at the motor, there is an air conditioner, a conveyor belt, an industry motor. The motor is a lot of electricity. There is a pump, a fan. So, there is a leading technology in Fuji Electric. How can we reduce the energy consumption? So, in that product, we have a problem around India. We are planning to expand that product and that is an important part of our growth. If you look at this issue, India has R&D. If you look at India, there is a R&D team in Poona. If you look at India, how much the product cost is correct, how much the product is designed, we can get it from the outside. So that is an important part of Fuji Electric 2.0 in India for India Plus. Thank you.